Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So, for today's video, I'm going to be trying to roll some ice cream. I am so excited to do this. I've seen this done so many times on Instagram and YouTube with street vendors just chopping up ice cream. I have these little things here, which come with it. Oop, which come with it, these little choppers. And I've seen them going I've never done that before, but I feel like that technique was on point. I felt like I did really well there. Anyway, they chop up the ingredients, they spread it out, and then they do this and they just roll up ice cream. And I'm so excited to give this a go. So I have some pistachios to try making pistachio ice cream. I also have a little bit of green food coloring. Just I'm just gonna add a tiny little dab because pistachio ice cream, I think is normally green. From my knowledge when I've eaten it, I'm pretty sure it's green. So I have some pistachios. They are in shells, so I am going to have to unshell them before I do this, but I'm very excited. Yes, look, it's on the box. Pistachio ice cream, it's green. Okay, so green and pistachio. I've got some dried strawberries. I also might test this with some frozen strawberries, and then I have some fresh mango and some dried mango. So I don't know whether fresh, dried, frozen works best. We're gonna test them all, but I have some strawberries for some strawberry ice cream, mango for some mango ice cream, and, and then what I think I think is my favorite ice cream. I think some mint chop chip. So I have some peppermint extract, which is what online they said is used to make mint ice cream. Maybe it's not. I have some chocolate and have a little bit of green food coloring. So I have a lot to do, I feel, but we're just gonna go for it. There are also these that come in the box and this. I'm not too sure what these are for. <laughs> Um, maybe this is for eating, oh, well, maybe that makes sense. This is for eating the ice cream, but I have no idea what the little cookie cutters are for. Okay, so the recipe that I'm gonna use calls for 16 ounces of cream and 14 ounces of condensed milk. I'm so nervous, I've built this up so much, I'm so excited, I don't want this to go wrong. Oh my gosh, this is loads. Okay, this pouring jug is too small. Oh, I, maybe I'll do half. Nobody saw that. Oh, I blew in love condensed milk. Okay, something's gone wrong with the can opening situation. Um, I'm not too sure what's happened here, but it hasn't opened properly. This can didn't want to open properly, but we can still pour out of it. So we're gonna do seven ounces of this. Seven. Oh, just over seven. Oh, and it's still going. Okay. Maybe a little bit too much cream pinch of salt, and it says to give it a stir. Make the base by combining the cream and milk in a bowl, done. Then prepare extras such as fruit, done. Get the ice cream plate from the freezer, place the extra ingredients in the middle and pour a little bit of ice cream base on the top. Grab the two scrapers and get grinding. Chop the ingredients as much as possible. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for this. I'm gonna pull this forward so you can see a bit more. I'm so, I, do, I don't know how this is gonna go. Here is my freezer plate. It is very, very cold. I am so excited for this. Okay, can you see? You can see. Right, I feel like I'm in a bit of a rush because I don't want this to warm up. So I'm gonna go for some mango on there. And then I'm gonna pour a little bit of this on, like such. And then we're just gonna get grinding. I don't... Oh. oh my gosh, it's actually already stuck to the bottom of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, have to work even faster than I thought. Okay. I feel like this is going quite well. I don't know if I've chopped them up small enough. I'm making such a mess. It's just going everywhere. Smooth it down into, into a rectangle of sorts. This mango is nowhere near chopped enough, but I'm just gonna smooth this down the best that I can. And I watched a person do this earlier, and you just keep smoothing until it just is frozen, frozen. So I'm just gonna keep going. This is not a rectangle. It's said to make it a rectangle, but this is, I failed. I haven't done the rectangle that I was asked for. I can't roll it! I'm not strong enough. Oh, it's not rolling. Roll. Maybe if I just push it into a roll. Does that count as rolling? Wait, look, I can roll it up. <gasps> Wait, continue going. That's the one. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Wait, what? <sighs> I made a rolled ice cream. 
a mango rolled ice cream. I'm so happy with myself. Okay, moment of truth. How does it taste? I am. I am blown away with my talent. <laughs> wow, this is my favorite purchase ever. Okay, maybe not ever, but it's a great purchase. <gasps> This is coming out every summer. Homemade rolled ice cream. Sure, that is a party trick and a half. <gasps> that one kind of rolled. Okay, I need to clean this before I can make a new one. So I'm gonna get a little bowl to put my ice cream in. Maybe should I blend these nuts first? Does this count as cheating? Because I'm not chopping it myself, but I just feel like uh, these are plastic. I don't think they're gonna go through a nut. Okay, I'm gonna add a teeny little bit of green. I mean, it doesn't look very green, if you ask me. So we're gonna go for this. We're just gonna pour this on and make ourselves. Is that enough, do we think? Maybe a little bit more. Just make ourselves some pistachio ice cream. Oh yeah. This is gonna be my favorite thing to do every summer now. Just make rolled ice cream. I feel like I've got a slight talent in this. If anyone wants to hire me, I'm here. There are the odd little nuts in there that just aren't being very nice. I think it's too thick, you know? I think I've done it too thick. I had one good roll, the mango one, and now I've ruined it. I think I've ruined it. <gasps> oh no. But mistakes have been made, well and truly made. Oh boy. If I knew making ice cream was that easy, I feel like I would have been making more of it throughout my life. I mean, this is just ridiculously easy to do. Aside from the rolling a bit, I'm seeming to fail at that, but making ice cream, huh, I've got it. Maybe the plate's too warm and I need to put it back in the freezer. Okay, it's been in the freezer for a moment. We're gonna try again. I don't understand how you can do something first try and then not do it on your second try. But apparently, this mixture doesn't want to roll. Pistachio? is a no-go. I'm gonna clean this, I'm gonna put it in the freezer for a little bit, and then I'll rejoin you and we're gonna try and make some mint chocolate chip. Oh, come on, let's be friends. Let's be nice to each other. I just tried to wet the tissue and clean it a little bit, um, and I've made some tissue ice cream, apparently. Oh no, that won't come off at all. How do you get it off? Oh wait, one side of these is better than the other. You're probably thinking just put it under water and wash it, but I'd like to make another one today, which means refreezing it. It takes 24 hours to freeze. However, given this is still half frozen, I'm hoping an hour might do. So I'm gonna put this back in the freezer. But in the meantime, apparently, you can just put the ice cream onto a baking tray of sorts, put that into the freezer and wait till it's frozen and then roll it. So I, I figured, why not try it? So I'm just gonna put a small layer on here and then put it in the freezer. What I will say is, this pan, not perfectly straight. I honestly don't know how thin is too thin. How long do I put it in the freezer for? Four hours. Forget about it. Forget about it. That was a waste of mixture. I don't wanna wait four hours for that. My ice cream was made in seconds. I can't believe I made the mango one and then, and then, catastrophically, that's not a word, absolutely destroyed the other one. I can't believe it. Round three, I feel like the world saw me cheat with the pistachios in the blender and punished me for it. I'm not gonna cheat this time. I'm gonna chop up the chocolate in the ice cream with, with these little guys and hope for the best. We're using this food coloring and I'm just gonna do a bit more than last time because it didn't seem to color anything last time. Yes, that is beautiful. Okay then. Can I grate the chocolate? Will you be mad if I grate the chocolate? Yeah, I think this is a good idea. I think it's a great idea. I also feel like I might not use the entire square actually. <laughs> so this is what my baking tray looks like. Clearly not even in the freezer. I'm gonna use my little scrapers just to push this around a little bit and spread it into the shape that I think it should be, and then let it go back in the freezer for a little bit. Because I think that might be a good idea. I think I did a good job. I'm nervous. I really want this to work. Okay. 
Where's my scraper? Here it is. I just don't know if the plate is uh, cold enough, but it does say you can make multiple and I only made one and then it stopped working. Maybe I just don't have the technique. I was so happy in the beginning. I thought I had it down. It's not cold enough, I don't think. I, th I think this has melted too much. You can hear the liquid in it. I feel very, very sad because the first one went well. And so my hopes were so high for making a ton of ice cream rolls that I didn't even fully enjoy the fact I had an ice cream roll. I just ate it. <laughs> I didn't take a thumbnail with it. I didn't do anything. I just ate it. I was too excited and I just thought, this works, brilliant, that'll all work. It doesn't work. I'm devastated. I'm actually devastated. So this is how this is looking. Um, it looks a little bit like ice on the top of it. I don't see it rolling, but we're gonna try. That is not rolling. I mean, I can roll it myself. <laughs> kind of. I can kind of roll it myself. <laughs> this is a disaster and I'm so unhappy right now. If I can get it to work tomorrow, I will insert that footage. If not, I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't. I enjoyed the first few minutes when I rolled a bit of ice cream and then disaster struck. Whew. It's the next day. We're gonna try this again. I put the plate in the freezer overnight. So fingers crossed, we've got one more attempt at this. I also did a different thing with my nails. I normally go white, but I went pastel and I'm not feeling it. I love the colors. Uh, the colors are beautiful, but I'm just, I feel very, not me, <laughs> without white nails. Okay, we've got strawberries. We've got a couple of sprinkles. <laughs> we've got our cream mix. We're gonna go for this. Please wish me luck. <sighs> I feel like my hair is getting in my eyes. <laughs> I should have put it up like yesterday. <laughs> please, 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 please. I feel like the sprinkles are making this very uneven. And also, you can't see them. They were very much pointless. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put this in the freezer and we're gonna try and make another one. These side ones. <gasps> it's working. Okay, quickly, quickly. We need to make another one. A little bit of cream. A little bit of flavoring. A little bit of green. A little bit of chocolate. <gasps> okay, it's going green. This could work, this could work, this could work. I really want a green ice cream roll. Okay, I'm thinking maybe the food coloring and flavoring just stops it freezing because it doesn't, it just doesn't have the same consistency. However, it is delicious. I just took the pistachio ice cream off of the plate poured just some of the plain mixture on there and tried to get that to set and it wouldn't. So I don't think it's the food coloring and the flavoring. I think the plate just gets too warm after one roll, which makes me so sad because it says on the box you can make multiple rolls, but clearly I can't. I managed to do one roll and that's it. Um, but my roll is now in the freezer and I'm gonna get it out and we're going to eat my roll and enjoy my roll and I'm excited about my roll. Okay, so I have this mini roll, a mini roll, and then I have my big roll, which has um, become a banana shape in the bowl, but mm, I made my own ice cream roll. I really thought in this video, I was gonna make a bowl of ice cream rolls, like you see in pictures. And I was so excited about it and decorating the top of it with sprinkles and stuff. It just didn't happen, did it? It just wasn't, it's just not for me. <laughs> I'm just not as talented as I thought. Well, I hope you did enjoy this video. I enjoyed the ice cream a lot. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.